It's all right, man. My crew's used to me making about a bajillion misplays. Yeah, dude, same. I think my game <laughs> just froze, by the way. <laughs> Guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's episode eight. It's the final episode of season one of It Is What It Is. We have had an absolute blast with our good friend Country Fried. My man, how you doing? Doing great, man. As long as I'm not cleaning my garage. <laughs> so... <laughs> Why don't you tell the ladies and gentlemen uh, what's uh, wh what happened there? Well, <laughs> closer to 50 than 45. <laughs> <laughs> and I decided to clean the garage. I yeah. didn't do warm ups. I didn't do stretches. <laughs> so, Amateur mistake, man. Come on. I know. I know, man. Uh, so the garage gets full of a lot of boxes because you got Christmas time and birthdays and we got six kids and it just gets ridiculous. Man. Yeah. We got boxes everywhere in there. And, we, you know, we don't even stack them. We just throw them. <laughs> and so my whole idea was get these boxes separated from everything else and cut them up. Yeah, no, man. I was throwing empty boxes and I threw out my back. <laughs> so, let, so. let me just reiterate a key point there. The boxes were empty, everybody. <laughs> they, were, they, they, were, they were. That's all right. I think the last time that I did this where I, and it's not like I threw it out. I can't walk and yeah. stuff like that. Well, yesterday I couldn't, <laughs> but but. It's well, like it tweaks, and then if you sneeze wrong, or if you yeah. sneeze at all, or cough, or turn your head just right, it'll yeah, just you, take you out. Yeah, it, it hits that that point. Oh yeah, man! Yeah, I think last time I did this, I think I picked up a pack of toilet paper. So, <laughs> so after you know, forty five, it just goes downhill, man. I really appreciate your perspective, but maybe you shouldn't tell people that it was empty boxes and that you picked up <laughs> toilet paper the time before just a suggestion make it sound really like manly like oh i was moving furniture and you know this Bro, thing i below. wish i wish so um, what I, I was on i was on push-up number 1000 what <laughs> and, my, <laughs> and my hands slipped on the tile where naturally. i was doing the push-ups yes and that's naturally. how i pulled my back yeah man because i definitely uh, do a thousand push-ups every day all right i'm lucky to get 10 in <laughs> so yeah. well i yeah no, ever I haven't been back in the gym since COVID hit, and nobody was. I mean, I was in the gym before then, but man, it's I'll, like I went to, back to college and put on the freshman fifteen and all that kind of stuff. Well, I know we're not talking about magic at this point, but I will just <laughs> say I've in my life been in a gym. I think twice, um, oh, and that's man. enough for me. I don't really need to go back. <laughs> It's not for everybody, man, but I love it, dude. I love it. When I'm in the gym, I got no back problems. And but I'm uh I'm very um I don't know what the what the right word would be for it. I get I get pretty obsessive. Yeah. When I whenever I do something and uh I just get I zero in, my focus goes crazy and yeah. uh yeah, I mean, I get in the gym and I just, I'll go in and first week's kind of like an hour at a time. And then after that, it just ends up being three hours at a time. And <laughs> my wife's calling, asking me where I'm at. But, yeah. Nah, I miss it. But yeah, man, back problems, dude. Had to go to the hospital last night. Got some yeah. muscle relaxers in the system. We're good. <laughs> We're well, good. <laughs> I'm going to segue. Speaking of things we miss, guys, it's time to record the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that segue. Um, there you go. Guys, this has been an incredible uh, achievement to complete season one because I will say, while Country Friday and I really sat down, did our homework, did the work up front to make sure that this was going to happen, it's still a lot. And so I want to take a moment uh, before we jump into you know, the, the prompt and the deck building aspects and that kind of stuff to just say a huge thank you to uh, two different groups. One, Everybody watching, I really do appreciate the fact that everybody has been supporting the series, liking the videos. We've had a couple of other content creators uh, enjoying the series as well, I know. Uh, shout out to you know who you are. Um, and uh, a couple of individuals who have really commented and, and been supportive of this series. This was a step in a very different direction. Uh, and so it's been a blast to do this. The other person I wanna thank is absolutely Country Fried. My dude, this has been just the most fun little mini series I think I've ever done because of the fact that we can just sit down and be like, you know, 9 a.m. Just ah, let's record. We got this. And yeah. like, it's just fun 
it's just a blast. So thank you so much for being a part of this. It's it's an absolute pleasure. Uh, thank you very much. And and same back to you. Seriously, uh, <laughs> it resolves reached out and we talked about it and everything clicked and then the series was born and it is man it is a blast and it has been so easy to record it's absolutely i mean I, i've said it before on other episodes and i've said it when chatting with other content creators man. yeah this guy will absolutely spoil you with his work <laughs> ethic and his yeah. kindness and it makes me ill how nice he is i do what i can man i do what i can <laughs> it really is man it's been so easy uh the, the on screen off screen everything i know i tease yeah. I, he makes me send fruit baskets before we can even <laughs> record and stuff but uh no man it Actually, has been an uh, absolute pleasure diving into this with you i ate an apple before this out of the fruit basket you sent <laughs> so thank you so much um nice. no- <laughs> Uh, I know you can't see this, but I literally have an apple core right here because that was my <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> Just don't... Anyway, nah, dude, this has been an absolute blast. Uh, I love this series. I love the idea for the series. I'm excited to jump into a new season of this later on this year. Um, we do have some details to iron out for that just as a heads up to the viewership uh, but we are already kind of planning for that at some point and so as we know more we will obviously let you guys know but speaking of let's jump into the prompt for this episode which is angels versus demons let's also set the record straight you've already won <laughs> yeah that's out of the way we know country fried is gonna win so the only thing i have to do this time is have fun which is really the goal of the entire series. But uh, I tried something slightly janky uh, this time for Angels, and I'm kind of excited to see if it works because I'll be honest, in practice, it did not. Uh, so we're going to do the best we can to make it happen. But how are you feeling about your deck? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, look again. It's uh, it's angels versus demons. I yeah. have no doubt how this is probably going to go. Um, <laughs> however, there's a lot of synergy with the demon aspect of it, mm. and the more I dove into it and uh, kind of fiddled around with it, uh, yeah, there's there's some stuff going on. There's definitely a, a jank factor to it. Um, can it get there without the jank? Yeah, I mean, even in practice, it was it was humming along pretty good. All right. Well, then that makes me a little bit nervous because, <laughs> like I said, mine didn't really work. Mine can get there without the jank as well, though. I will be honest. It is an Angels deck at heart, so there's a lot of things that I'm sure you expected to see that you will probably see. But I did include a fun new Kamigawa card, uh, and that allowed me to do a couple of different things. And so we'll we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm optimistic, we'll say it. And, I'm uh, interested. I'm interested. Well, yeah. I'll, I'll, I will put it this way: you you will have you will have plenty of time to get there because this <laughs> okay, doesn't good. this doesn't do my thing fast. Well, <laughs> good. Uh, mine's not exactly the fastest deck either. Um, I will say again: if you have any combo element, the same thing applies to this one. That you know, if we don't get to see one of the decks pop off, I would love to see what your demon deck can do because I imagine there are some pretty fun aspects to this so uh without further ado though i think we can just jump into the deck text and get into this gameplay this is the last one this is crazy yes it is it is but yeah man let's do this let's go out with a bang here we go all right guys so here is today's deck this is the last one of the series and i wanted to make this one kind of fun a little bit janky but hopefully really potent and really destructive and so what we've done is incorporated a lot of little miniature combos into the deck that will hopefully win us the game some of these are also little arc backs to previous you know episodes of the season and all that kind of stuff before I jump into this, I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys for, for watching and being a part of this series. It's been a blast. It really has. But uh, the goal of this deck is, again, kind of multi-step. First and foremost, you, you can't help but notice we got a mirror box in the deck. And in and, and part, we have four of these, actually. Uh, and the idea is if we can get this down, what we're able to do is cast multiple Shalais, which give themselves, uh, essentially, they give each other hexproof. Uh, including ourselves and everything else that we have. And basically it means that our entire board is not touchable with anything that says target on it. 
Uh, and so that really should shut down quite a bit unless there are sweepers, which I'm not really expecting. He is playing a demon deck, so I have to imagine he doesn't have too many, but I have thought about that just in case, and we've got some options in the sideboard if we need to, but I really think that's going to shut down quite a bit. Now, additionally, we can play extra Lyra Dawnbringers, which are going to bolster up our board, give them lifelink, uh, and do a lot of stuff there as well. We do, of course, have a lot of life gain aspect with the Righteous Valkyries, the Bishops. We do have the Book of Exalted Deeds as well with the Faceless Haven combo. So the goal of this, if you don't know how this works, you activate the Faceless Haven. It becomes a, in, in true uh, historic, I think it becomes a 3-3 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this got an alchemy boost. Um, and the idea is it's every creature type, which you can then use the Book of Exalted Deeds, exile it, uh, and then put a counter on it that basically says you can't lose the game and your opponents can't win the game. Uh, you can only do that as a sorcery, but for six mana, you can actually do that. So if the game goes long, we do have a solution to win the game uh, or lock up the game, as well as just having Platinum Angel along with the Shalai. Uh, that way they can't, you know, be targeting. We do only have one of these because I didn't want to be too cheeky about it, but it is a really good card. Uh, to add a little bit of insult to injury, what I'd love to be able to do and what I have in the deck is this Angelic Ascension along with Fateful Absence, but the fun thing about this is it creates an angel, uh, and so I thought it would be thematic, if nothing else, that if we need to remove one of his creatures, what we can do is remove it, replace it with an angel, and then have the angels kind of taking over on the theme side of things. Uh, additionally, though, what's really nice is we can actually exile our own creatures, so if he does have any like targeted removal, we can exile our own creatures, create a 4-4 white angel on our side of the battlefield, which does trigger things like the Bishop of Wings, the Righteous Valkyries, that kind of stuff. So we've got a lot of options there just to save ourselves if we need to. In the land slot, we do have a couple of green sources here, including one that's fetchable with the Fable Passage. That allows us to drop some counters on the creatures we control with the Shalai. So I'm hoping that we get the opportunity to do that and hopefully do some really fun things here. And uh, additionally, we do have Starnheim Aspirant to cheapen things up. Uh, as well as Resplendent Angel is a way to hopefully again spit out more creatures. Just a really good efficient threat here. Uh, and so, yeah, that's kind of the deck. There's not a whole lot to it. Um, I In the sideboard, I did mention we've got a few things uh, to slow them down. One of my favorite cards, and again, an arc back to some of the other uh, decks that we've created, Authority of the Consoles, really one of my favorites. It really slows things down and gains us some life, which is obviously a sub-theme of, de of the deck. Uh, we do have God's Willing for a little bit of extra protection, just if we need it. It's mostly for the Platinum Angel uh, or the Lyras, uh, depending on how that goes. We do have one Farewell in case he is doing something super janky with artifacts, enchantments, stuff like that. Uh, before we play our own, we can Farewell all of his stuff. We can Exile his Graveyard. We can do a lot with this, so I'm hoping this comes in handy. And then again, we've got some uh, Heliod's Interventions here for a little bit of life gain and a little bit of removal for those artifacts and enchantments. So with that said, guys, I think that's everything. I do hope you guys have enjoyed this series, and I can't wait to get into this game. Let's see how it goes. Let's jump right in. All right, guys, here we are jumping into the match. Uh, I'm going to play first. Feel and... free to pass it my way. Nah, dude, you don't, you don't need it. Um, <laughs> I'll keep... This is a bit of a sketchy hand, though. I need to draw some stuff. Kind of the same. All right, let's let's lead with with a little tree line action. Yep. All right. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> pretty pretty unexciting start here. We got the bishop. We got some other stuff that'll be coming down though that I think will be uh, interesting. I need to draw one particular card, and then another particular card. <laughs> I've got some pretty good, I, I got some pretty good cards in hand. Okay. You got tons of these Archfiend's Vessels. Well... And the pass. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Because I didn't do what I should have done. How dare you not do what you should have done. I know, man. The thing wanted to do the thing, and I just can't do the thing. <laughs> Uh, how do I do this the most efficient way? I think we'll go this route. And I'm just gonna, okay. I'm just gonna sit back, man. I'm not even gonna worry about it. Oh. I did assume Rakdos. That's a good assumption. Yeah. I did not 
I cannot say that I was clearly expecting Celestia. Uh, it's mostly white. I'll be honest. There's only one card in particular that uses green. Um, oh, you suck. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, I mean, he's kind of a demon. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> Double, isn't that kind of the same place? Nah, man, you're just being silly. Um, okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I do think there's an option here, though. Let's just do this. It's just passive I wanted. Oh. All right. Bro. Shalai, man. Gotta love Shalai. I'm trying to think here. Oh my gosh. You're gonna start doing hex proof stuff. That's kind of the plan, yeah. <laughs> and you can't target it now. The aspirant, so ha. Huh? That's fine. Oh, you're just killing your own stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I mean, hey, that works. That's great. Yeah, dude. Get rid of the bolt. I don't want that crap in here. Uh huh. Oh, very cool. All right, I'm into that. I love it, man. It's the Nightmare Shepherd. Yeah, dude, it's super sick. All right, let's do this. We gain some life. Seems fair. See, that's the problem. No, is this quit is... highlighting him. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just do this despite it not really being an amazing yeah. play. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I guess I can. Nah, I don't want to attack with that. Nah, I'm just going to attack with Shalak. I don't particularly want to feed your vessels here. I kind of want you to. I figured you might. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think what I need here. Righteous Valkyrie would be kind of sick. Yep, there it is. All right, you did it. You got a five-five. Mm-hmm. Way to be there. Okay. Yep. I'm drawing so much of a non-useful card. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Uh. Let's see. Wow, you're just going to start casting stuff for free. Nah, man, I can't get rid of the uh, colored mana. Uh, yeah, so that's it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, dude. Well, let me go ahead and do this. How many aspirants do you think I've drawn this game? <laughs> what do you mean? I've drawn three uh, Starnheim aspirants. Oh, are you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so here. So I just wow. don't. I have all the mana cheapening in the world and nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm curious. Yeah, dude. Um, I think I just take it. I'm just gonna let you keep pinging me. I don't really care. Okay. It's cool, man. I got That's plays cool. later on. <laughs> well, so do I, but... Look at play. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um... What you got? Nothing. No. Heck yeah. No. All right. Um... I'm just gonna... Casually deal six to you. It's just a casual six. Casual It'll six. Right. No big deal. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Oh no. <laughs> Why, man? Why? <laughs> what the heck? How many of all, these? You've drawn all, all of, of them. them. Oh my all god. All, all right. Of them. I mean, they're gaining you some life, which is pretty chill, but. Uh, okay. Well, that's pretty good. I don't love that. All 
Yeah. He's going to let me search up cards. Yeah, dude. If he lives, Teehee. No, I'm just kidding. True. Very true. Very true. Oh. Man, I really need, like, a land. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. All right, I think I do this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing, man? I, there's a lot of mini combos in this list, like I said. So I think I do this. You killed my flyers. Yeah, dude. I had to. I literally had to. I was doing nothing unless I did that. So. Hmm. Oh, there we go. That's something. Ah, okay. Very cool. What a great card for Axian Arena. Right? Uh, like, for so sick. Arena is, yeah, for Axian Arena is incredible. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna double block this. Since hmm. I've got a million aspirants anyway, it doesn't really matter that much. But I think I'd rather kill if I can. Do you have a. Oh, you suck. You're the worst kind of person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fine, fine. That's okay, man. I think I'm going to die pretty quickly, though. Yeah, that's the goal. Um, <laughs> so I think what I do... Let's throw that counter there. So now I can't lose the game. All right. So now I have to either sweep or do two layers of kill spells to get through this. Okay. Which I think is reasonable enough. Well, yeah, if I pull it off the top. Yeah, exactly. I don't think I got enough time to go digging off of this guy. Yeah, that's kind of my hope. And this is going to start doing its thing. Yep. <laughs> so. I mean, you you are gaining life off of the vessels, though, to be fair. Yeah, but not enough. You're offsetting well, one of my creatures, right? At this point. Yeah. Um, I think I just passed. Nah, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. I should have waited or done it, excuse me, before declaring attackers. So that was kind of a mistake. But my thought is I kind of want you to invest the mana. Right? Although you can just search up the stupid rebirth card, can't you? <laughs> um. Oh, it puts it on top of the deck, though. Okay, that's helpful. I was thinking yeah. it just goes straight to your hand. I was like, that's so good. You could just search up a rebirth, regenerate it, basically, and like you're good to go. I still think it's done, though. You think so? Yeah, I think I think. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure you got it. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. We will see. I'm not positive about that, but we'll see. I do have some really good draws. Uh, well, because this is only going to be six life total, and you're going to have six damage on board. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so. Yeah, and even though I could draw it. Off the oh, that's clue. true. You can draw off the clue. It still wouldn't be enough. It would be if I had like 20 mana. Yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> so, um, okay. Yep. They oh. be it. Yay. <laughs> nice. That's actually really... Not that Table I needed it this turn. Is a great but... card, though. I miss it. Yeah, dude. Same. Oh, okay. Okay, well, here, I'll just draw my card. Yeah, dude, please do. <laughs> I encourage you to do so. <laughs> Is that enough? Yeah. yeah. I can't do anything about that. Oh, thank goodness. I got to win. <laughs> All right. Sick. 
All right, cool, cool. Let's see. Now what? Man, what do I got in my sideboard that would even help with this? <laughs> oh, um, yeah, those. Those would help. I think those are all good. I don't... Um, I don't know if... I didn't see much that would cause me to need certain cards in my sideboard, so I'm a little curious as to what the right call is. Um, I think now that I've played this even more... Yeah. Well, against somebody other than a bot. Um, I think there was more to it that I could have done. Um, like yeah, I could have put kinda... in raise. I could have put in like a meat hook massacre to sweep my own board and bring my vetoes back from the yeah. grave. Yeah, I was kind of like not sold on some of my picks as well. Um, oh, what a weird hand. <laughs> this one's pretty gross, man. Not like in a great. I mean, it would be great if I had if I started with like ten mana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll keep. I'm on a mulligan. <laughs> I don't think I can. <laughs> this would be great if I had ten mana. I'm keeping. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I hate this, but we're gonna keep it. Um, I'm not sold on this one. I'll be honest. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, now I'm wishing I had sideboarded slightly differently, but that's fine. All right. I dropped my lands wrong on the second turn. Did you? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Should have dropped that mountain first and up the warlock class. It's all right, man. My crew's used to me making about a bajillion misplays. Yeah, dude, same. I think my game <laughs> just froze, by the way. All right, we're back. Cool. Go right ahead, my friend. You're all the way in? Yep, I am. Okay. Um, hmm. This thing is just a pain, bro. Yeah, dude. Resplendent Angel is sick. I absolutely love it. Hmm. Let me see. I think we go here. We're going to go here. Yeah, dude. Oh, I might get oh. to do the, I might get to do the thing. You have blood on the snow. That's a problem. <laughs> Crap. Well. Do you even have Oh, you do have snowlands. I was going to say you have like no snowlands out. <laughs> well, I got one. You got one. But I mean for 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 uh Oh, I said I think I called him Vito earlier. It's not it's uh Archfiend. Yeah. You only need one. <laughs> so. Fair point. It's a very fair point. That's a clever little uh, combo. I like that. Um, hmm. Oops. Let's do this. I like it. We'll see how this goes. I I'm like not it. overly optimistic, but we'll see. I like it. Of course you do. You're probably going to kill it. Yeah, you douche. <laughs> <laughs> Should have gone the other direction. That was such a mistake. Nah, it's all good. Nice. Hey, by the way, yes, I do oh, run mirror yes. box. <laughs> yes. I'm so happy with you right now. Yeah, dude, I thought you'd like that. <laughs> I'm so... Yeah, man. It's amazing. Oh, it's so sick. Um... But I am still missing quite a number of cards here, so we have to hope for the best. Oh, very cool. Um. Easy kill that. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> well. That may not be entirely accurate. Oh, come on. Um, let's see. This isn't exactly a great play because I don't have <laughs> anything to go with nice. it. Nice. Ooh. 
What? <laughs> Are you serious? It's demonic pact. I get it, but like, <laughs> what? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay, cool. I'm in for um... it. Man, I'm really glad I have mirror box on the field. Otherwise, <laughs> you could just straight shoot Shalai. You know what's better than one mirror box? Two mirror boxes. <laughs> nice. Three mirror boxes. Oh my gosh, what is going on? <laughs> That's all I drew. Well, um, I should. I figured you can make me discard cards, so it's probably best that I just dump my board. Can you kill Shalai? Probably. Don't. Don't do that. You said don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> do you like that? Yeah, that was good. That was Thanks, good. dude. I was pretty um, happy with it. I mean, you'd probably rather me kill her here a second. Oh, no. I so wanted to play him. Yeah, honestly, such a cool card. It is, man, it is. Um... All right. Okay. My hand is so full right now. It's starting to work a little bit like it's supposed to. Yeah, I was going to say, it's doing pretty well, I think. I mean, this isn't exactly good, but... Mm. It's the best I can do. I'm just trying to devalue the discard. I think that's correct. You've got so many cards, though. This is insane. <laughs> like, there's no way you can't kill Shalai I, right now. I know, but I, uh, Demonic Pack's about ready. I mean, that's a good point. Kill me. Oh, um, I also have Hexproof, don't I? Yeah, so that kind of drops him out of the yeah, zone. I kind of forgot about that. Haha! -ha. Ha -ha. Unintentional upside. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's see, man. Do I got any way to get to this? No. Do I? Do I? Would I have any way to get? Hmm. I think I killed myself. <laughs> I think I killed myself. <laughs> I'm into it. What? Do it. Kill yourself. Oh man, did I not have any type of sack outlet in this thing? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna kill myself. Really? I think so, man. Hmm. You got this, man. Yep. Yeah, I don't really have any way of... Uh... Can you not kill Shalai? Okay, yeah. I was going to say, but then the Demonic Pact is what yeah. you're worried about. Yeah. Sure. Well, can you... Dang. <laughs> you have to be able to kill me next turn, right? Don't I have to select that on the next one? Uh-uh. Yeah, you choose still one that hasn't been chosen. Yeah, but you haven't made me discard cards yet. It won't let me select it. Now it should because I don't have hexproof. Oh, yeah. Because it's target opponent. So now I'm I've a, got... I'm an idiot. No, you're good. So now you can make me discard and save yourself the turn. So I have to Let's hope to draw something see. really good. <laughs> I think if I go with that and... I don't want to get rid of any of this. Got to do it, man. You got too many things. Your deck is too good. It's just the way it goes. <laughs> there we go. All right. That is less than helpful. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
All right, so let's see. If I do this, this, nice. and this, faceless haven. Faceless haven. Oh my gosh! And then do this. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. I am gonna die to that thing. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. I love that combo. I told you this deck has a lot of little combos in it. That was one of them. I did not put any fill of runes in my deck. Ha ha ha. Do I do Man. the winnings? Well, you get to win. You get to win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so upset with this right now. No, it's fine. I though. feel really bad that I drew faceless. Aiming. And what's horrible is I've got the combo in my hand. With oh, do you really? Class. Yeah. Oh no. Well, it's it's just the scourge of the sky claves. There's no reason to play a third. Uh, it, it, there's no reason to play a third. That's Are you the sure? Only combo. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. No. But yeah. Look. Ha! On my own sword. Yes. <laughs> et tu brute. Et tu brute. <laughs> all right. All I'm saying is, I am so happy that in the final game, you lost to your own card. <laughs> because it's like throwing <laughs> empty boxes in the garage. I'm uninstalling this. <laughs> Heck yes. All right, dude. We did it. Let's jump into the outro. All right, my man. We did it. We uh yeah. we completed season one and uh ending just like we should have we should have expected this. Some <laughs> random silly way to lose the game. Uh because it is what it is, and it happened that way, and I love that. Yeah, man, I ended up punching myself in the face really hard. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Um I can't honestly, dude, my thought process was if I draw anything but faceless haven. The only other thing I could have drawn, like if I had drawn a three mana or less angel, I could have mm -hmm. still put the the book on it. But I would, I had to imagine you had a kill somewhere. Like you would have been able to to sweep or do something to kill it. Um, and so I was like, okay, I literally I think it's faceless haven or bust. And it was exactly faceless haven. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was good, man. It was good. I hate that combo. I'm I so sorry. It's such a like it's such a dirty combo. <laughs> it is, man, it is. And I run no field of runs in this one. However, it is it is a legitimate uh yeah. way to stall out the game until you can win it, which is, you know, that's magic. But uh yeah, I just I was holding a sweeper. Yeah. I so an angel wouldn't have helped, but um, man, I I think I misplayed all over that last game too. I think if I had put in the Agadim's Awakening and yeah. paid three life, I would have had enough uh, right there to plus up Warlock class, and mm -hmm. then I had I had Scourge of the Skyclaves in the deck as well, so I would have been able to play it on the next turn for the combo. Yeah, but I think the turn after when I could have played that had I played it right, I think was right after you got Faceless Haven, so it still wouldn't have worked. <laughs> oh, I'm just so happy I didn't lose, to be honest. <laughs> I've, here's my thing. I didn't win the series, but I mm -hmm. did make you kill yourself, and I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> Jeez. It's the only time, people. It's the only yes. time you're ever going to hear that come out. No, of yeah, mouth. of course. I made um, you kill yourself. We're good. We're good. It's all good. <laughs> totally you fine. Punch. It's, oh, like the it. it's like the big brother, little brother. Quit yeah. punching yourself in the face, bro. Exactly. Nah, so my deck's whole thing was, so as you guessed at the very beginning, because I kind of gave it away, but the, the mirror box combo is with Shalai, obviously. So you just get yeah. two Shalais out, and they give you and them selves hexproof basically at that point and so literally it's like you have to have a sweeper to deal with anything mm -hmm. that i'm doing um and then the mini combo being of course the faceless haven book of whatever um and really adding that to basically anything uh because there's so many angels in the deck but then once they have hexproof it's like okay this is a little bit of a safer combo i did also have platinum angel with Shalai. <laughs> I only had it as a one of because I was like, I don't want this to be the focus. I want it no. to be a little harder than that. Um, but I was like, just in case, kind of want to have this in there. But honestly, so during sideboarding, I didn't sideboard at all because I didn't see the Warlock class. I did see Phyrexian Arena um, and I kind of assumed mm -hmm. you might have Meat Hook Massacre or something along those lines. 
Mm -hmm. uh, and so my sideboard was tooled out to have like enchantment hate. <clears throat> um, but I didn't end up using any of it because I was like, ah, I only really saw Phyrexian Arena. I don't want to take myself off of any plays. And so I didn't do that. And I'm, right. I was really wishing I had because once you got double Warlock class Phyrexian Arena out, I was like, crap, this is a mistake. Yeah. Um, I really thought I was dead there. Like the entire game, I thought I was done for. Yeah, no, it was it was good. It was good. Uh, look, book is a good include. It kind of fall. It well, it doesn't even kind of. It falls right in line yeah. with angels. Yeah. Um, and I and it completely skipped my mind. I don't know why, because I loathe <laughs> it, I loathe. But uh, but yeah, no, man, it was. Uh, I did sideboard. Um, what did I? T I think I took out the Tibbles. Yeah, and, that's surprising. Uh, Tybalt seems really good. Tybalt is good, but Tybalt dies off really fast because you can only yeah. minus him twice. That's true. And, and I took out the Tybalt and put in the uh, extinction events, mm -hmm. and which kind of can work against me. So I got to be careful about that, when yeah. I'm going to cast them. And in hindsight, I did not have Meat Hook in here. Yeah. In hindsight, Meat Hook would have worked really well because then I could have killed my own Arch Fiends yeah. with it. I mean, in hindsight, there's a, there's a bunch of things. Yeah, of That's why I like this because when when we're doing it, you you know, you look you look back to it and you're like, man, I could have done this and this, yep. and then it just, and like we said, it just expands and starts yeah. opening your mind. And I know I'm not a huge fan of historic, but in this format, the way we're doing it, it's, I am a huge fan. Yeah, of it. exactly. I'm kind of the same way. Um, I look at historic as like a really crappy modern. And I really mm. like modern and I really hate historic. And so for me, this is kind of a fun way to, to introduce historic in a way that to me is more silly, not as competitive, although there obviously is still the competitive factor to this. But all in all, it's just about having a good time and enjoying, you know, silly deck building experiences and that kind of thing. And that's exactly what we did all season. So I couldn't have yeah. asked for anything more. This was perfect no man it was great and i love it i do that's why i i, I think i fall in line i think historic has probably a wider meta at the yeah. top yeah. than standard but there's still a meta there is and if, oh, I, yeah. and if i and if i got to deal with a meta then i'm just sticking with standard i don't yeah. dive into historic so this was this was a ton of fun to be able to open up into a different aspect of arena and venture into all these old cards that we like seeing and yeah. seeing different aspects of it especially with the you know the parameters of let's keep it fun and yeah. synergetic and and comboish and just let's jank it up and yeah, yeah man it was a blast bro i had a blast with it man i can't I believe did. it's the end it is the end guys this has been i think just one of the most fun little series that we have done on the channel uh and again i can't thank you guys enough for watching country fried for being a part of this because uh you know without country fried this wouldn't have happened let's be very clear we mentioned this early on that this was sort of to the idea of this was very much within your uh, line of deck building and that kind of thing. Like that was kind of the whole idea behind it. And so to have you as part of this was a an absolute pleasure. And again, I, I hope very soon to have more information on season two. Yeah, absolutely. And I and right back at you. I can't thank you enough. Give me, I mean, the opportunity is huge. The look, let's not let's not even kid ourselves. The channel <laughs> sizes are we're not comparing sizes. So, <laughs> so hey uh, um. hey <laughs> uh, but no, it was uh, the opportunity was amazing, man. The fact that you reached out to a smaller channel yeah, like mine and uh, yeah, we, man, we just got lucky. It, yeah. it clicked. We said it before. I said it before. I, I don't, I'm not a huge channel, but time is time. And, yes. and, and, and there's only so much in each day. So I wasn't going to waste my time if things didn't click. And we yep. talked and it just clicked, man. It just worked. It so worked every, every time we sat down to record, we seemed to just kind of jump right into it. And it was never like a, uh, today's kind of a slow day or a bad day or whatever. Yeah, um, no. It just worked, man. And, with that in mind, guys, I'm going to spoiler a little bit or just kind of teaser. We do have uh, a podcast. I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I'm doing it, man. Screw it. <clears throat> we have a podcast uh, that Country Fried and I are going to start doing in the coming weeks. We don't have an exact release date yet. We are still getting graphics together, uh, layouts together and that kind of thing. But uh, that will be coming. But we have we have solidified that we're doing that. 
Uh, the goal is to make it a weekly podcast, uh, and it's going to be called the Glorious Sunrise Podcast. In partially inspired, if not all inspired by this series, <laughs> um, but uh, it's it's going to be a blast, man. Yeah, man, I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm glad you spoiled it, bro. I am. Um, we did not <laughs> talk about that. No, we didn't. He just did that on his own. He's no. like that, man. Selfish yeah. sometimes. <laughs> um, but uh, no. Um, yeah, man, I'm glad you did it because uh, my channel is starting to ask more whether I'm going to put out videos of whether uh, we're going to talk about upcoming or would I would I do previews of upcoming sets yeah. or am I ever going to talk about the way I feel about, you know, just the magic community, different things happening within the community, you know, like economy and, mm -hmm. and, and net decking and what are my thoughts on all this kind of stuff. And I'm just like secret squirrel stuff, guys. You yeah, got to wait. Gotta you gotta wait. wait but since you spoiled it man let me <laughs> let me let me mess up your frame with my head real quick yeah because you, you spoiled the name of it i did it is glorious sunrise now do you have i'm not trying to rub it in but do you have have you showed them my trophy your trophy no i haven't do you, you want, want me show? to? I do, man, because uh, I, I'm going to get out of frame here in just a second. So, okay, that's fine. Show, show so, my trophy, and uh, and and um, there there is a participation uh, prize. Oh, good lord! <laughs> <laughs> so, hold up. This is... All right, so guys, we we kind of talked about this prior to, but uh, we did announce that we were going to be doing actual prizes for this, and our decision was to go for a play mat. Uh, that the winner of this series gets to sign each time we do this series. So with that, I went ahead and went through yourplaymat.com. If you guys want to do that, I have an affiliate link down below in my channel. Um, and we printed a season one. Uh, if you can see, it is what it is. We got the big Colossification artwork on one side with Elvish Art Stewart on the other. There's a nice little spot here that uh, Country Fried gets to sign the playmat. So I do have to send this to you because I, I keep forgetting I need to do that. So I'm so sorry, <laughs> no, but that's fine. we that's do need fine. to get it over to you so you can sign it. And yeah, dude, you want it. So congratulations. I want my trophy. I want my trophy. I've been do you get a trophy for killing yourself or is that? No, 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 sorry. <laughs> yeah. um, I've been practicing. <laughs> no, um, but the, you notice it's a big spot. I'm not signing that whole spot. It's it's for it's for C Seasons to come too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, okay, so runner up. <laughs> um, first is a fun one. Okay. Um, I haven't seen any of this, by the way, guys. No, this is all haven't. new to me. I got I got you the altered scoot. Yes, dude. I got you the altered scoot swarm. Yes. Because that's one of my favorites. Heck yeah, that's been a classic through the season for sure. And, and buddy, just for you, since you spoiled it, man. Oh, here no. you go. A foiled oh. glorious sunrise. A foiled glorious Dude, sunrise. Dude, that's Just better than the play mat. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 trust, I tr trust me, it was not as much as the play mat. Close, but not as Dude, much. No. You're the man. Thank you so yeah, much. Man. That was Absolutely. so kind. No I problem. Love that. Well, we'll, you, we'll ship what, everything back and forth because we got to do all that still. But that's so nice of you. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, once we decided on the name of the podcast and everything, I was like gotta do it i gotta go back to the store yes <laughs> well dude i have to say as we're wrapping up this eighth episode the end of season one first and foremost congratulations to you buddy you took the Thank win you. ending record five games to three uh and that i mean hey we couldn't have drawn it up any better i think uh i think it actually progressed in a really interesting way through the season so it was a blast um but seriously dude congrats thank you so much man this has been amazing yeah no same uh thank you i appreciate it um oh and uh one of those um one of those content creators that drops in on our channel yes really liked the whole uh last week's episode of win oh, really? game lose game yeah yeah and mentioned it's funny the titles under your guys's names is that your guys's jobs <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> 
<laughs> Dude! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, so, that's no, hilarious. Man, I had to wrap it up that way. Look, that the community has been great yes. uh, on oh, both yeah, sides. Yeah. And that's what I love about this. Not only do we get to play it and have fun, but uh, your community has been great. My community has been great. And I got it just getting into the whole content creation of this. Yeah. The magic community is like the most non-toxic community i've ever ran into so <laughs> uh, my my appreciation goes out to anybody watching yeah. that uh, spends the time on these videos and watching them they don't have to uh yeah. much appreciated and it resolves thank you for reaching out to me brother i truly appreciate it man it's been a pleasure yeah dude anytime i'm excited to work on the podcast together hopefully jump into season two of it is what it is and as you mentioned the the magic community as a whole thank you guys for watching being a part of this series supporting us from the start the goal of this was to just sit down have some fun with magic and get back to what it's really about uh and not worry so much about the uh the the rougher around the edges kind of things to do with the magic community so i'm glad that it worked out in that way and man what a blast so guys Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. With that, we got to wrap it up, man. Country Fried, thank you, dude. We're going to be back. Don't you guys worry. It's going to be a blast. Thank you guys again. We'll see you soon.